What's up crew and welcome to another masterclass video and today we're going to be taking a look at an exercise that helps develop those thicker, rounder, bolder shoulders. The shoulder press. I'm going to take you through my top hits and tips of ways I've made this exercise better over time to reduce risk and increase gains. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So here we go, shoulder dumbbell press, and as I always say, start right, you will finish right. So looking at the seat position, most people have the seat upright like this. I like to put it one back. This makes a high incline. Difference being, when you have it very upright, you tend to have a bit of an arch in your lower back and it almost pushes you forward. By leaning it back, arching your lower back, it gives you that more kind of front press natural position. But again, you want to still keep your hips back and feet planted. Seated, avoid swinging the dumbbells up into position because it leads you with overextended shoulder and lower starting point. From there you'll see people press up and have this weird outward facing dumbbell angle. This takes the load away from the shoulders, it can lead to hyperextending of the elbow joint and that in turn all leads to poor stability actual shoulder joint which is what we're trying to work. So this increases your overall risk of injury. So this is massively what we want to avoid but is commonly seen. Also failing. This is how you fail. You press and press maintaining posture and it doesn't go up. This Little twisty twisty, hip shaky shaky, happy feet sliding down the bench to get the dumbbell up, but by any means, incorrect. Happy feet, as I said there, another thing to avoid. Here, you can see nice and stable, solid feet driving through. What we'll often see is this, imbalances, feet moving, feet not square, feet in different positions to one another, which all in all takes away your base for a good solid lift. So let's take a look at the fix and the setup. Starting with picking the dumbbells up with a neutral spine like a deadlift motion. Protect that lower back. Set your scapula and then kick the dumbbells up off your thighs. Use your legs to elevate them up and take them into a relaxed starting position. Here you can see that the scapula is engaged but I'm relaxed here. There's no stress on the shoulders. Then the inner head of the dumbbells, we're going to angle those in ever so slightly. So drop them in just a little bit and that's going to set you up in the correct starting position to then drive up smoothly, keeping your feet planted. No happy feet as we showed before. And driving up to the top, not allowing the dumbbells to touch. This is a clean, safe, solid, and well-executed shoulder press that will keep the gains coming. So there you have it. You once again have the power in your hands to put into the delts. A little bit of a seat tilt, less happy feet, just those little angles in will make a world of difference. You can also apply that to the bench press with dumbbells. Less happy feet, that little will also make that feel just real nice. So make sure to give it a go. If you've liked this video, smash that like button below. Hit me up in the comment section with any questions. Next video you're going to see from me will be an update on that vacuum, which I've been doing for two weeks now. And I'm going to show you how they've helped my waistline and tighter. Plus, how I'm going to go and learn to throw some axes, ride some quad bikes, and throw mountain bikes down mountainsides. Till the next video, I've been Lex. I'll catch you in the next one. Boom, baby.